Hey folks, this is Kirk Almighty here. Uh, we are now on episode 5 here of this Van Stactus Gold PBEM series versus Mike. Um, and I have just completed my turn. Uh, his air defenses are starting to stiffen up now. I took more losses here with my strategic bombers and whatnot. Uh, he had that gun factory. It was over here somewhere. Was it there? I guess it, yeah, it must have been right there. We did uh, destroy that gun factory this round with my strategic bombers. And uh, I actually came down and attempted to destroy this airfield right here. And I came so close. I think there's like 160 structure left on it. The fighters that were located on there were really suppressive to my bombing attack. And I did lose some fighters. Also before that I had gone and I did a, an air recon over here. Somewhere around here. And uh, I've been up here. I don't know. These guys intercepted and I actually lost all four of those fighters. On the plus side, I did an air attack again on this airfield up here with some of my fighters. And I think I killed four fighters he still had sitting there. Oh, it looks like he's got one left. I think he had five fighters there and I killed four of them. Or maybe five. I don't know. I killed quite a few of them. Uh, I did some artillery bombardment. I did manage to capture this hex right here and I pushed my whole army forward. I still got artillery flowing in here. I got another unit of heavy artillery coming in here and he's got a, also a unit of standard artillery. And, you know, he's missing an artillery piece there. And between that and my infantry guns I'm just going to try and pound my way through these this forest here. Mainly in this northern corridor, this southern one. And once I get far enough up in here, then uh, I can start threatening these guys from a different angle. I may actually then start pushing forward with these and kind of kind of hit them from two sides. I'll be threatening to maybe cut them off or surround them or something. And then I can start pushing through in the center. It's kind of my thought. I'm going to push you down here first, and then I can push through here. Um, still no uh, shipyard built up here yet. Nothing yet. Um, I got some more targets at, well, I think next round I may actually hit these cities. At least hit this city and this city. Might just possibly hit all three of the cities because their production, I'm sure, has got to be rebounding pretty good about now. Because I've gotten all the factories up here destroyed now except for the two tank factories. Um... Yeah, he backed this armor right out of there. Remember that armor was sitting down there last turn? He backed him out. I was kind of hoping he'd keep him there because I actually did bring in some dive bombers. Um, I held him back and did not attack with him anywhere this round. I kind of don't want him to know I have him yet. And you shouldn't be able to see him back here. Unless he does some air recon. Um, from up, yeah, it's kind of centrally located, so... Like, if there's some armor back in here, I should be able to hit him with that. I should be able to get the most, most, and most targets around here where there might be armor or artillery. I decide I may want to target with that. Um, and that, I would say, is about it. For That was about everything that's happened so far in this turn. And uh, I'm not too sure how my opponent's going to respond here yet. He may do some counterattacks down here now that I'm starting to push through. I'm kind of waiting, expecting him to come and bring that armor back down. Maybe he might come down and try and hit me here. I got a lot of anti-tank guns down here, but uh, he may. My fortress. I actually had a, a oh a fortification built right here, and he actually destroyed that. Uh, he's got a pretty major one here. Uh, he had a fortification right there, too, and I actually destroyed that with my artillery bombardments before. I, oh, and I did do an assault on him. That's right. And it, it, uh, it was pretty even. I wouldn't say I lost more than he did. But I didn't win the battle. And it's left some of my units a little weaker here, but... I think they can hold, though. In case of a counterattack. So anyway, that's where we're at right now. Um, I increased my raw production a little more. I spent, uh, I think I upgraded, oh, I upgraded this guy to level 3. 
I want to get that raw up pretty high here um, so that way I can start to build some naval type units because I think I'm going to need them. I think I'm going to build me some battleships to start with. A small group of battleships and I can roll them up this way. Um, so when I like to have this ready by the time winter hits. So in case he decides to build that thing in the winter, um, when I have my, my, my bombers are grounded, then I can come in and bombard it with those battleships. And if I end up not needing them there for that, uh, they'll they'll come in useful at some point because uh, once I capture this island, I am going to build something down here and I'm going to build a, any navy I do have back in here, I can move through there and go into here, uh, into his sea. So, and I think with that, we'll go ahead and call this episode right here and uh, we'll see you in episode six.